Hey there, Pisces. Let's go ahead and do your reading for March 2022. All right, I'm going to start pre-shuffling for you. In the description below, uh, I have a few readings that you may want to look at. Um, I have a... Um, Actually, a Valentine's Day reading for singles. So if you are single, you may want to look at that. Or if you're in something that you're not totally happy with, you may want to look at that. Okay. I have a mid-monthly for February. Um, and the way that I'm going to do the mid-monthlies now, because I don't really have time to do a full reading like the full reading that I'm about to do for you. I can only do the full readings like once a month, pretty much. And then, of course, the additional collective readings like a new moon reading and a full moon reading. Um, so the mid-monthlies are going to be about an hour long to an hour and a half. It's going to have all 12 individual signs. And each reading is going to get, I'm sorry, each, yeah, reading each sign is going to get a check-in. It's going to be about five to eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes at the most. Okay. Um, so I have the mid-monthly for February in the description below if you didn't see it. I do have the new, um, sorry, the full moon in Leo. It's a two-parter. The um, second part focuses on love, whether you're single or dealing with somebody, but it's mostly for people who are dealing with someone. And then I have the two, well, I'm not even going to mention all the twos. Let's just say February 2nd, 2022 um, portal reading with all those twos in there. I'm not even going to try to count all the twos right now, but you get the idea. The two, 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 whatever portal reading is often associated with um, twin flames or soulmates. So that reading has that focus. Okay. All right. King of Pentacles. Want it to make itself known. All right, so I have all those readings in the description below. I'm beginning the main part of the shuffle for you, Pisces. Okay. Just listening for shuffling instruction. When I get quiet, I'm, I'm listening for messages often, okay? That's mostly what I'm doing. We're going to do a pyramid spread, very different from the uh, Celtic cross. Um, the Celtic cross is very linear. The pyramid spread is, um, it focuses more on you, more, you know, it tends to have little messages, little bits and pieces of messages that way. Um, where the Celtic cross is more linear. It even literally has positions for different things. And so does the, so does this spread, the pyramid spread. But the positions in the Celtic cross, I mean, there's literally one that usually represents another person that's on your mind. Okay. So it gets, we'll say, in essence, it can get nosy in that way. The pyramid spread is not that way at all. I'm not saying that I can't see other people in your life through it, but um, it's also far from the purpose of it. You see what I'm saying? So um, these tend to be very spiritual readings um, more than anything else, okay? All right, I mean, there's always exceptions to the rule, but just so you know. All right, uh, seven overhand shuffles. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right, your first card out is the Temperance card. Okay. Uh, your second card out is the Knight of Wands. The third card out is the Ace of Swords. The Nine of Cups is next. And the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of this energy here is representing your past, but it's not so much about what happened in your past as much as it is about how your past influences the current time, okay? The next row is the current time, so let's take a look at that. We have the Moon, 
okay? The next card within this current time usually represents possibly the solution or what you're trying to reach, um, whether you know it or not, whether you're familiar with it or not. The Ten of Cups, you probably do know that. You're reaching for, you're reaching for great happiness. I heard some of you just straight up reading for, reaching for 5D, okay? And the Ten of Pentacles, wow, back to back, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? Well, some of you could either be quite wealthy or desire to be wealthy and extremely stable, extremely financially stable, as well as all the other stables, spiritually stable, things like that. Very, very family oriented here. Very much so. You've got a lot of good energies here. So for me, the moon card is not really talking about fears, but more about you being very cognizant about your own intuition, your own psychic abilities. In some cases, some of you guys could be doing readings like this, you know, whether in any capacity, whether it's reading cards or a palm or just someone's aura. Okay. It's funny because the last time I did mushrooms, I've only done it twice in my life. I actually was able to see people's auras. I didn't get that the first time. Um, but anyway, you know, who knows? You know, I don't read anything else but cards. I do have an intuition where sometimes I kind of don't need cards and I can just read people. Um, but the cards are definitely more uh, a helpful tool with all of that. Uh, but yeah, though, seeing the aura thing was a new thing for me. Um, and these are some of the abilities that you guys have. Um, reading coffee grinds in some cases for some of you. Uh, I can't do that. Reading tea leaves, read, you know, whatever, stones. I think if I was going to go in another direction to learn something new, I think stones would be the next easiest thing for me to learn to read. Just saying. Anyway, I think that would work with my intuition quite well. Um, let's take a look at the two um, paths that are most available to you. Uh, one is usually easier than the other. Um, they're uh, often most your likely paths. But the one on the right will be the one path that you're likely to take. It's not set in stone, but you're likely to take it. Uh, you still could take the other one, whether it's by free will or even by default. And somehow you fall on that path. Um, in reality, there are more than just two paths for most people. Okay, you could have 10 paths, but these are the two that are most prominent or more relevant at this time. Okay, um, rarely do people only have two paths or just one path. It does happen for some people who get themselves sort of cornered, shall we say, but it's not that common. All right, so um, yeah, let's see. We've got the Empress. This is on the left side. It is not the likely path that you would take, but um, it is a very good path. Um, hopefully the other one is just as good, um, but whether it is or isn't, what's on the right side, it's your most likely to take. And if it's not as good, you may have to make a little extra effort to do the better path. And this is quite a, this is gonna be hard to beat this Empress. What is this? The Justice. They're both major arcanas. And they both seem really quite good to be honest with you. All right, what is the outcome potential? The Seven of Swords. Well, that makes a lot of sense to me why you are, a lot of you are likely to use the um, right path of the justice, okay? This is a very interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. There is a sneakiness going on within you that you have right now. I don't think it's a negative sneakiness, you know? Seven of Swords can be cheating and things like that. And hell, you might be sort of cheating something. But it's almost like, you have God's permission or you have the universe's permission. It's like, you know, um, it's not even cheating. That wouldn't even be the right word with the way you're using the seven of swords. It's um, being sneaky, but the way that you need to do it, it's being, you know, on your toes, being very cognizant of everything, being very aware of everything that if people didn't, um, 
know you better. They might even say that you are in some cases, um, what's the word? Paranoid. Okay. Hang on a second. Let me have a sip of my kombucha. Okay. Let me just take a glance at these cards here. You're going to be tripping someone up. You're going to be sneaky with someone. You're going to be creeping on some... Well, I don't know. Creeping may not be the word because that can imply cheating. But you're going to be tiptoeing <laughs> so that, you know, um, you're going to be hiding what it is that you need to hide. Not because you're a bad person or something like that, but you have the right to your, you know privacy shall we say okay so there's an element of that for sure let's take a look at the past okay really quick which is the bottom row here again you have the temperance knight of wands uh ace of swords nine of cups and eight of pentacles okay um while i take a look at this i'm gonna be shuffling i'm gonna be pre-shuffling your um your cards for uh, the clarification portion of this reading I see the Ten of Cups twice as I'm shuffling this deck. I'm just saying that, okay? I saw it twice. This was the second time that I saw it. And of course you have the Ten of Cups right here in the center.